So let's talk about the 2026 code change process. And this process doesn't change a whole lot. Uh, so if you see this and you go, man, I, I think that's what the process was. Well, you're probably right, but we're going to review it anyway, because not everyone realizes how code is made. Some people think that the NFPA writes the code, uh, and that couldn't be further from the truth. They are the steward, if you will, of the standards. But the code is, in fact, the NEC is a consensus document. It's written by the public and by people that have been put together to kind of validate the public's opinions. So we start out with the public input stage. It's kind of step one of the code making process. And what happens is people like you and I are able to submit public inputs on how we think the code should change and you know with some substantiation as to why we think it should change maybe there's a safety issue um, a change in technology or a shift in the industry and those inputs are all kind of uh, collated or collected together and they get distributed out to code making panels based on what the topic is and what the code section is uh, the code making panels kind of put that together during a review process and come up with what is called the first draft. And that draft is then uh, sent out to public comment. So then the people have that have submitted inputs and others have the opportunity to put comments on the changes that were made by the committees or the tentative changes that were made by the co-making panels in the whole entire process we have a group we're going to talk about called the Correlating Committee. And we're fortunate to have uh, Dave Williams here, and I'm going to let him speak a little bit on what the Correlating Committee does, who's kind of watching over the whole process and all these changes just to make sure that when changes are made in one area of the code that impact other areas of the code, that the changes are made across the board and we don't end up with orphans. Once that's done, a first draft report is issued. And that's saying, hey, um, based on what we know at this point, this is what we believe the next edition of the code is going to look like. And that takes us to step two. Well, now that you have that draft out, people look at that draft and realize, hey, this wasn't what I expected, or these additional things need to be considered now with these changes. And we will then have additional comments submitted. And it runs through the same process all over again, back to the code making panels, correlating committee oversight. Of course, uh, NFPA staff is involved in this whole process, trying to make sure that things are following the requirements of the standards council. And then we have a technical meeting. So the second draft is published. We get the second draft comments. Then we're going to have a technical meeting and right leading up to that technical meeting, we have a process which is called the NITMAM process. And that's notice of intent to make a motion. And that's where you go, hey, listen, we've, we've made an input. Um, we've gotten a first draft. We've made comments. We've gotten a second draft. Uh, we've addressed comments. And now, well, we're at the end. And somebody feels like, hey, we need to make a motion uh, to change what has been decided is going to happen. Uh, that is presented at the annual meeting as uh, those are certified amending motions. Am I right, Dave? Yes. The NITMAMs result in a certified amending motion or a CAM. That's presented at the annual meeting and people speak on it. Just the people that are supporting it or against it in the industry that are NFPA members. And then the NFPA membership, which is anyone that has been a member for more than six months, is able to vote and say, hey, yeah, I think that's a good cam or I don't think that's a good cam. And what we end up coming out of with that is pretty close to the final draft of the NEC. Um, there's a few other steps after that where it goes back to code making panels. Um, but the end step or the last step, if you will, is it goes to the Standards Council. So the NEC is an electrical standard, which means it's something <laughs> that can actually be used by governments and enforced. And it has to be approved by a Standards Council to make sure that the process and how everything went actually follows what the law is for creating standards. And they will approve the standard, which that should happen. I think guys, soon, very soon, we're in August of 2025, so within 
for sure the next month, uh, the Scan Standards Council will have approved the NEC. And at that point, it is actually the code. So that was like the uh, high speed review here. And uh, you can actually visit uh, nfpa.org forward slash 70. And you can see links. Uh, if you click next edition, the first draft and the comments and the second draft and all these reports. And I would just encourage you that if you are interested enough in code changes to be watching this video, get involved in the process. You are, I'm sure, able to contribute to making a better standard. Thank you.